We cover five areas of drafting. We cover the mechanical, architectural, civil, electrical, and structural drafting and design areas. Um, so in the mechanical classes, we design mechanical parts like car parts, and we can print those out on a 3D printer. We have a couple 3D printers here. Um, in the architectural class, we will design houses and you will be able to design your dream home and draw it up. In structural, we'll be working with steel beams and, and concrete and bolts and stuff and lay all those out for designing big skyscrapers or anything from stadiums. We have a lot of lecture time, but we also have a lot of hands-on drawing time in the labs and it's a lot of fun being able to take what you learn from the books and put it into your drawings right then and there. It's really cool. We're getting the foundation for every, everything, so wherever we end up, we're prepared and well-rounded. We had an advisory council here just last week, and they were telling us how our students are the employer's choice. What do employers want? They want speed and accuracy on drafting. So the more experience they have drawing, because that's what they're going to be doing later, the more they're going to be better at it. So in my inventor class, I actually was able to make a bender from Futurama uh, for my final project and it was it was really cool. It, it was really cool to be able to have the creativity and the free range to be able to do it. And we will teach them from the ground up um, how to draw. We start out you know doing it together and drawing the lines and then just add features and add features until we cover all the different areas. Like a nurse is to a doctor is like a drafter is to an engineer. When they're done they're prepared to assist engineers and architects. I think I've got this my teachers have really prepared us for what's going on in the real world and you get the experience you need.